like I've heard so much uh, you talk about uh, donations, uh, charity, giving away. Uh, any specific uh, reason behind that or any science behind that? See, basically, uh, we always think that uh, the solution to our problem is just by probably paying for a puja and getting mm. it done and things like that. That works to a certain extent. But certain things which you need to do on a daily basis or a monthly basis is that you know you give a part of what you earn to somebody who is underprivileged. Okay. Okay. Now, why this is not more of moral or um, you know, like it's not clear sentence that is telling me to tell you this, mm-hmm. but dana and dharma have been a part of our Sanatana dharma tradition. So right. it's like one thing is somebody is asking you and you're giving them. Mm. Another thing is nobody asks you and you still give them. Mm. But uh, you know the whole point is you give mm. no matter what. But don't be mindless in giving. Mm-hmm. You give it to individuals whom you know mm-hmm. who are struggling uh, in their own ways in life. Try to help them. So And also try to first uplift the community you are living in. Mm-hmm. See, most of the people who come to me face issues with people. Mm-hmm. It's people creating problems for them. So mean the people management. Around them. Okay. Yeah, the people mm-hmm. management. Exactly. You put it right. So it's like they are creating problems. That is why the Shatru Bada, the negative energy, everything is happening because you antagonize the other person. Other person. What mm-hmm. I am trying to tell is to build your own community. Help people around you first. Correct. Let them grow and always look at their growth as your growth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that is when uh, you are truly, genuinely wishing somebody good. Correct. See, I am not saying just give monthly provisions to somebody and you are done. Probably help them, yeah. uh, you know, setting up their own business or Correct. getting a job or a, a probably a learning which can give them a job, mm. you know, some trade, something mm. like a vocational training or whatever it is. Mm. So, you, I mean, you can always use your creativity and do this. Right. Now, how is this going to help you is basically from the karma point of view, it's going to yeah. do a lot of karma cleansing. Mm. Now, I wouldn't say this is a science, but this is the way of life. Okay. We all have done karmas in the past, we are suffering today, we are reformatted, we don't remember anything about our past life. Correct. And we don't know what has hit us in this life that we are suffering so much. We wonder why me, why Why me? me? This is the question, constant (laughs) question. Ma'am, why me? I am so good, I have always prayed, I pray thrice a day, I I go to temples every Saturday. You know, these kind of messages I get, they don't understand the past life, karma. Through astrology, we know it's the fifth house lord which reflects on your past life karma. If your fifth house lord is Neech or Vakri, uh, then you know that, or it's associated with a malefic planet, oh. then you know that your past life karma is okay. not good. Uh, that is the science aspect of it. Okay. So then, then you need to do a more lot more cleansing, as you say. A lot more cleansing, a lot more giving. And, uh, you know, giving for food, Anadana is very shrift, uh, Vidya Dana is very shrift, uh, you know, sponsoring somebody's education or contributing in any way possible for education mm. is amazing. And again, don't give it to people who are worthy of okay. earning on their own. Mm. Maybe such people, you just need to show them the way. Correct. You see, you just reflect and say, like a mirror and say, yeah, this is your true potential. Why don't you just do this? Correct. That's all they need. You should make them stand on their own feet. Correct. Like I do, uh, I feel so good. Uh, like very recently also, uh, we had actually... Not recently, quite some time back, we had actually sponsored for uh, vessels for the transgenders. Anusya, I am going to tell you about the first time. That's why I am going to tell you about the first time. I am going to tell you about Swati Prasad. Swati Prasad. Swati Prasad. Swati Prasad. I am going to tell you about your channel. I am going to support you. I am going to tell you about the first time. I am going to tell you about the first time. I am going to tell you about the first time. I am going to tell you about the video எல்லாம் போட்டுட்டு இருக்காங்க அம்மா போட்டுட்டு இருக்காங்க அதாவது இப்போ எங்களுக்கு வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எங்களோட வீடியோ எல்லாம் பார்த்துட்டு சமையல் ஆர்டர் அதாவது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒரு ஐம்பது பேர்த்துக்கு நூறு பேர்த்துக்கு சமைச்சு கொடுக்க சொல்லி எங்களாம் ஆர்டர் கேட்டிருந்தாங்க ஆனால் அதுக்கான தேவையான பொருட்கள் எங்ககிட்ட எதுவுமே கிடையாது அதை வந்து நான் என் பொண்ணுட்ட சொல்லியிருந்தேன் அப்போ என் பொண்ணு வந்து அவங்க சுவாதி பிரசாத் அவங்ககிட்ட வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த மாதிரி கேட்ரிங் ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் இருக்காங்க அவங்க தேவையான பொருட்கள் நீங்கள் வாங்கி கொடுங்கன்னு சொன்னாங்க அதனால் என் பொண்ணு சொன்னதுக்கப்புறம் அவங்க பேங்க்ல இருந்து ஒரு இருபதாயிரம் ரூபாய் அமௌண்ட் போட்டுருந்தாங்கம்மா அது மூலியமாக எடுத்த பொருள் தான் அவங்க பொருள் காமிமா பாத்திரம் மட்டும் இல்லாமல் மளிகை ஜாமானும் அவங்களால எவ்வளோ முடியுமோ அந்த மளிகை ஜாமானும் வாங்கி கொடுத்துருக்காங்க அதாவது பார்த்தீங்கன்னா திடங்குகளோட வாழ்வாதாரம் வந்து இன்னும் உயரணும்னு சொல்லிட்டு அந்த மாதிரி பொருள்கள்லாம் வாங்கி கொடுத்து மென்மேலும் 
நீங்கள் வந்து நல்ல சமையல் தொழிலில் நீங்கள் சாதிக்கணும் நிறைய இடத்துக்கு நீங்கள்லாம் போகணும்னு சொல்லிட்டு நிறைய உதவி பண்ணிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க அதில் வந்து பார்த்திங்கன்னா நம்ம சுவாதி பிரசாத் அவர்களுக்கு ஒட்டுமொத்த திருநங்கை சார்பாக எங்கள் மனமார்ந்த நன்றி தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறோமா நோயற்ற வாழ்வும் குறைவற்ற செல்வத்தோடு நீங்கள் சீரும் சிறப்புமா சிரித்த முகத்தோடு பணக்கஷ்ட மனக்கஷ்டம் எதுவும் இல்லாமல் சொல்லும் செல்வாக்குமா செல்வ சரிப்போடு நீங்கள் நூறு வருஷம் வாழணும்னு சொல்லி நாங்கள் கும்பற கடவுள்கிட்ட வேண்டிக்கிறோமா for some biryani oh, making biryani and things like that so we can actually see them with those vessels making biryani and they're so happy That's they wonderful. don't have to go begging on the road correct and see and so and then when you do em- that you are empowering them actually absolutely and then transgenders are always governed by buddha and shani so the benefit of the planet will also strengthen absolutely. automatically you will see them strengthening so correct. as it is aged underprivileged are all and even those who are uh, physically and uh, or mentally disabled mm-hmm. they are all governed by saturn okay so whenever you reach out to them and do some help saturn corrects so Correct. otherwise what happens astrologically we see when the saturn sati begins or the ashtam shani begins you start having problems mm-hmm. suddenly and that time if you start doing charity it's a little late mm-hmm. you still have to catch up you have yeah. lots to catch, catch up. up so if you do every day it's like your rd or your sit you know it's like you <laughs> do it every day then so uh, it's going to multiply <laughs> yeah it's going to multiply right. and it's going to accumulate right more than multiply it's going to accumulate so you start right. doing this and then you reap the benefits or you redeem it at a time when you need it the most so like now i'm suffering from sade sati so i will say god i have done so much i need that help now correct so then that we can it is possible people wonder oh do you really have a choice to say you want to redeem it now you have you can mm. but do that first correct without doing yeah i'll okay. just feed one person okay. and say i want to redeem this point what are you going to get out of that correct so you have to also be very sensible na right. if somebody does something to you will you will also tell the same thing correct what have you done to me that i need to do something to you so the same thing happens here dana dharma is something actually i would like to call my client uh, swati for this okay. because he is an authority on giving mm-hmm. is a philanthropist and uh, and more than giving or charity he understands the deep uh, karmic impact it has on um, anybody what in fact i'm sense. trying to get his time i've mm-hmm. been asking him you know anything on karma on mm-hmm. charity he should speak because he's mm-hmm. had that experience i think in 2014 he had a turning point in his life which is when he realized the importance of uh, charity, charity okay. and giving and how karmically how it can impact okay. how you can create that good karma to get what you want so he explains it uh, in a much better way than me okay. probably some video soon with him yes i mean they'll also understand as to charity is just not about giving but it's also about involvement as you said so you do involvement absolutely in fact i stopped giving to trust mm-hmm. only because of this because i just realized they have a clock and also one more thing in this charity uh, very beautifully uh, one other senior astrologer had explained that uh, you know when you're giving temples mm-hmm. try to give donations to temples which have not received donations correct where there are regular pujas are not happening mm-hmm. because yeah. there is nobody to sponsor i know many such temples and i do this regularly so they call me and say there is a mariamma temple uh, and where the pujas have not happened for 6 months because nobody pays mm. and they need even oh, the milk and sad. so many panchamrit and everything to do right so when i give such gods uh, respond very fast Mm. because energy is there are waiting for somebody to uh, okay yeah because somebody would have just established the temple and then once they are gone nothing happens in the temple so it's like you want quick results you, it's easy to please gods with such temples mm. so like you know because there is nobody else and you are the one only one who is taking care correct or one of the few who is taking care so immediately gods respond to you mm. you can see that within a week mm-hmm. you can feel it so giving to temples is one thing this was basically my discovery but what the senior astrologer mentioned was like you know the panchabhutas are connected to the planets okay so oh. when you ha so when you are actually uh, giving somebody uh, if you are agni tatva rashi or a jala rashi hmm. or a vayu rashi then according to what rashi you are probably you can give a temple uh, uh, okay uh, the water based hmm. some some container to hold the water for abhisheka or uh, oh. a deepa like you know a lamp related thing okay. or give oil also which is again related, related to water water ha so uh, you know do and mm-hmm. or donate lands or donate uh, tiles mm.
and Agarbati is for the Akasha Tattva because the, it's the very fragrance very and Shanka uh, giving a conch mm-hmm. and our bell that is also for Akasha, Akasha. Tattva. Okay. So like that but uh, now it's come to a point where we do charity it's become an integral part of my life that uh, uh, I really don't think on what that, uh, what is happening mm. and literally if you see I'm doing all the five tattva. see even if there is an imbalance in one of it is either your health gets affected or your finance or your relationship or any of these things can happen right mm. so if you don't have a house for example that is a boomy correct so you'll have issues with your rental house or some mm. some nagging issues correct. with your house where you're living you're not happy, happy. You, uh-huh. will you be happy overall is your quality of life good mm-hmm. no. because yeah there's so you need balance. to do that balance mm-hmm. so and fire element is good for digestion itself so if you don't have the jatarakni working for you, then the food you eat, you can't digest. So how on earth are you happy without the fire element? <laughs> so my understanding, I mean, I did gather some inputs from that video, what I watched from mm-hmm. the astrologer. But what I actually understood is just in isolation, doing something is no good. good. Mm-hmm. It has to be a homogeneous blend of everything. But I think he was only trying to motivate people to do at least something. Mm-hmm. Then, you uh, know, not, not anything. anything. Yeah. But, but my honest views are, you need everything. Yeah, wholesome. Uh, absolutely, you need wealth, you need health, you need and water is all blood. Correct. Blood in the yeah. body, yeah. The blood circulation. If things so. <laughs> yeah, and you know, uh, people who are on blood thinners and all, one small cut, the entire house is filled with blood. I've seen many people like this. So, uh, if the water element is actually good in you, you're actually in yeah. good health. Health. And the nutrition supply to the entire body takes place properly because mm-hmm. the blood is circulating well. Mm. How many people have water retention in their legs? How many aged people I've seen have water retention in their legs? Because the water element water is imbalanced. Balance. So that time if you go and give for Abhisheka in a temple <laughs> and <laughs> things like that, then it's like again last minute. It, it, it's like almost like post-mortem. <laughs> and it's like buying a ticket for a train which has already left. Right. <laughs> well said. You really have to go to another station to catch up. <laughs> you see well, that's quite noise. impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so charity is very important. Mm-hmm. Coming back to uh, like discussing more on this, we'll try to have Swati come. Definitely, it'll it'll be a wonderful conversation. Yeah, uh, more involvement. Absolutely. <laughs>